Hey, what up, guys? It's Brandon here. Welcome back to some more Super Luigi Galaxy. So, in the last episode, we pretty much undid um, um, the last main galaxy of uh, the engine room. Oh yeah, you guys see I access this um this now because I, I I went to this and then it sent me all the way back down like that. So I I could just go straight up here now instead of you know taking all that you know jump doing the bookshelf stuff and and whatnot. But yeah, pretty much we uh we did we per all we did was to toy time galaxy. That was the third um the last main uh, galaxy of the engine room. So now that we have all that taken care of, all we have left is this hungry Luma, and we got um the boss we, got, we have to take care of at the engine room, which will unlock us, which will give give us access to the sixth dome, which is up there. So which it's called the garden, by the way, guys. So um we'll be going there, but um yeah, pretty much we had to go and like take care of this mecha bowser um not talking about not, i'm not talking about super mario sunshine it's like this this like toy giant toy bowser we had to deal with in the first mission in the second mission we had to go and get on this giant 8-bit mario with with that contained lava and platforms that disappear and flip and whatnot all that all that kookiness where we had to collect um five silver stars we and, and at that same mission we had to go and get a um t we had to feed a hungry luma which turned into a galaxy that also became um a galaxy for fast for the fast folk comet as well it was, it was just because we had to go and deal with all those super mario 64 cubes and whatnot it, it was it wasn't too bad though overall but um i was mostly raging just because i didn't have enough star bits to feed the hungry luma in the first place but after that we did the third mission which um we had to deal with we had to um deal with so much um candy and stuff and, and ch you know um cake and stuff i'm not gonna try to make you guys hungry but um that's basically what we had to deal with so I mean, it wasn't too bad overall. We had to go and deal with that one mole that we had, that sh kept shooting bubbles at us in um, Gold Leaf Galaxy. But now, um, yeah, and that we had to deal with him while sh he was shooting electric balls at us. All right. Anyways, in this episode, sorry about all that. Um, I just wanted to recap. I just wanted to recap what we did last episode. But anyways, in this episode, we're gonna go and feed this hungry Luma um, at the engine room. So um, I forget how many star bits you need, but we already have enough thousand star bits and look how much look how much we have we have three we have like over three three thousand five hundred of them so we're already good pretty much like look at it. we have so we still have so many like wow and now transform so it's like we're already we're already doing this right off the bat but but this is pretty much all we have left we have all we have left is the hungry luma mission here and the um and we have to deal with the boss at the engine room, which will then after that we'll get access to the last dome in, of the game. All right, so now we're gonna do Sand Spiral Galaxy. So this galaxy, um, it's not too bad, but it's it's very challenging a little bit. But you'll see. But choosing a favorite snack, it's really cool overall. You'll see. You'll see how it is. Now look at this. Now this is very cool. But yeah, well, hold on, you, you, you guys will see. So we're inside this giant, we're going to be going inside a giant barrel that has like sand coming out and whatnot. So, of course, this is our first obstacle dealing with the um, magic Koopas. He's, uh, he's all the way down here now, so we got to go and kill him. You know what? Get out of here with that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we're good. Wow, that was actually pretty good. All right. So here, you can become a Boo. You, be, you can become Boo Luigi. If you want to go and fly over across the sand, but you have to watch out for all these um these lights, pretty much. But if you want to be uh be Mario, you can be able to fly and like you can climb on these poles. And you know, we're gonna we're gonna, I mean be Luigi. I said be Mario. I meant be Luigi. But what sucks is that you you don't you you have um limited flying, of course. So you have you have a obviously you have a gauge because with Boo with Boo Luigi you don't have to worry about all that. So. Like here, see now. Oh yeah, I like that. But we have to watch out for the lights, so I think we could just go yeah, right between. Oh wow. And I think the bubbles will be will try to stop. I think they will try to stop you if you're. Oh yep, they'll stop me like that, and I'm dead. Well. All right. Well, I mean, you guys got it's it's a really cool galaxy overall. So, but you know what? I just want to show you guys that I'm. I'm I'm cool with that death. It's it's all good. All right, so let's go. All right, sensor bar, get get situated, my boy. All right, I'm gonna jump on your head. All right, I'm just gonna just stick with um. You know, I'll just do B. I'll just, just be B Luigi. 
at first, and then and then I'll switch to be I mean Boo Luigi again. Right, just like that. All right. I don't know why this part's so difficult for me though, for some reason. All right, we're good. I thought I thought we were screwed for a second. All right, come on. No! Mm. Dang, I was so close. You guys saw saw how close I was. You know what? We're just doing B Luigi. Screw it. Cause I can't I can't really do it like that. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with that. Like, come on. Now I almost got caught on fire. All right. Yeah, I'm really having trouble with this galaxy for some reason. I thought it was gonna be easier than I thought, but apparently it's very difficult right now. Oh, there goes that coin. All right, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna stick with the B suit. No, no, Boo Luigi, just just the B suit. I mean, I know, I know, I know it's a higher chance of getting caught by the by the um by the um bubbles, but like, I just feel like I I just feel like it's um easier to avoid. Oh god. Ah. <sighs> All right, you know what, guys? I'll just pause until I, until we're back over there. All right, guys, made it over here now, so um, let's go and um, I guess hopefully get past this part. Yeah, this part was this part's kind of difficult though. But there we go, finally. Oh shoot, I should have landed on that. Oh my god, really? I wasn't. See, why am I having so much trouble in this part? I I was. I remember doing so well with this part in Super Mario Galaxy, my, in my Mario Galaxy playthrough. I'm really having, I'm really struggling on this part, of course. The only part I thought I was gonna do really well at, of course, it, it, of course, I have to be failing non-stop. Or I got this though, I got this this time. God, this galaxy sucks now. I was giving, I was giving it good, I was giving it um, like good, good review, and I mean, we're not. I was I was giving it I was giving a good compliment to this galaxy, but but of course of course this galaxy has to just make make me make me roar right now. Even though I was giving it po I was giving positive thoughts about the galaxy. All right, finally, jeez. I don't know why that was so difficult. We got that um, we got the oh my god, stop, chill. We got yeah we got that that um all that honey there. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna be doing this. So this is why they call it um sand spiral galaxy. Not only not only had to deal with spirals and stuff, but also you have to keep running this way. Which um will allow us to get I think more inside the uh yeah, like this. Alright, it's gonna be difficult because now we don't have the star now. I mean, yeah, there's invincibility. It's all good. Watch. See, just jump over that. There you go. Alright, wait, there's there's the star. Hold on, can I get that please? All right, all right, whatever. We don't need it. And yeah, we do need it. Come on, what the heck? I literally long jump. Somehow I still fall. I still fail anyway. Like, come on, this game's really laughing at me right now. All right, let's try this again. This part I kept failing at in my Mario Galaxy playthrough, though, so I understand. That's because I kept long. I kept like long jumping, um, from one platform. To, like, yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't doing this. I was like trying to jump from. Yeah, well, like, I was trying to jump from, from the one, from, I was trying to, like, get a little bit of a, uh, take a little, little shortcut. Like, trying to jump from, like, you see my cursor? Trying to jump from there to, like, there or something like that. I tried doing something like that, and I, and I kept screwing myself up, so I just kept moving like this. So, alright. Let's hope, let's hopefully, hopefully third time's the charm here. Or else I'll be roaring. <clears throat> Come on! See, it sucks because you're trying to jump, and then it's, it's like you you don't know the 3D effects, and oh my god, that's why I hate 3D Mario games. I don't know. I'm not. I'm just. I mean, no, I love 3D Mario games. It's just they seem harder because it's like you don't know where you're gonna land, and then all of a sudden you're just falling, landing at like you're like way off of where you're supposed to land at. It sucks. That's why I hate the most about 3D Mario games, though. Somehow with 3D Sonic games, that's not really much, that much of a problem. Well, except newer 3D Sonic 3D Sonic games, but like games like Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2, you know, my my two top my two favorite games of all time. I was able to uh, they're not that bad when it comes to platforming like that. But there you go. Now we got ourselves the star, and apparent apparently what's cuckoo is that this is this is literally the moon that we're standing on. 
Like I don't know, it just it just that's kind of cuckoo how it how we have the moon right there. But there we go. Now that we took care of that, finally it took us ten minutes to do that first mission. I thought we I thought we would have been done by with it like within like five minutes, but no, I had I just had to be struggling on it. That just sucks, but um. All right, so now that we took care of that, though, let's go and uh pretty much take care of. Yeah, hold on. Alright. Yeah, stand here to go down. No, I, 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 I'm up here, so so we don't have to worry about that. Say so we can't, we can't um get that just just yet. We have to wait. Well, I mean, yeah, because we have to defeat, we have to go and uh finish off this dome now. So now we can finally finish off this dome because that hungry loom mission just wasted like 10 minutes of my time right now. The first 10 minutes of this episode. So I've got everything taken care of now. Yep. So now all I have to do is just pretty much do this. So it's Bowser Jr.'s lava reactor, but we're not really gonna deal. We're not gonna fight Bowser Jr. this time, because you guys remember in the um at in the kitchen we had to throw throw shells at Bowser Jr.'s ship and all that. This time we're not gonna be yeah King Caliente's spicy return. So yep, we gotta deal with King Caliente again, which we haven't we have not um seen we haven't seen him since um was it uh Good Egg Galaxy yeah and he's right over there pretty much. So you gotta go and deal with, deal with him over there. But um, yeah, this part kind of sucks though. Y and you'll see what you'll see why this part sucks. Because, well, what you have to do, you have to have this bullet this bullet bill follow you. And what sucks is that these Goombas apparently the bullet bills can't they explode if you if they hit a Goomba. They can't like just stay alive after killing a Goomba. They they don't even seem that hard to kill. Like, I mean, at least, at least um, Mario and Luigi, they, when they when they jump on the um, when they jump on Goombas, they they're still alive. But well, but bullet bills they explode. It's like, all right, that wasn't too bad though. That was pretty good. All right, but now that we took care of that, now we gotta deal with these platforms, which are really um, well, they're not they're not too annoying, but they're just, they're kind of a struggle a little bit because they sink every time you stand on them. So you gotta keep moving every time. Like here, you gotta um hit hit. Hit these. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Good. See, yeah, you just gotta do that. Just hit the coconuts back at them. Which this this obviously te this obviously tells that we're gonna be dealing with King Caliente, and now we're pretty much over here. But instead, we got we got um, see Bowser Jr. first before facing King Caliente this time. If they give up any more grand stars, my dad's gonna be mad. So this calls for my old. Ultimate weapon. Give him, give him some heat, King Caliente. And, and and King Caliente also looks really different in this battle. You guys remember he was so bright and with with blue eyes. Now he's really dark with red eyes. It just looks it just looks really cuckoo a little bit. So you know we, you know the same tradition. You just gotta um, you know, hit the coconuts back in him like that. Oh okay, yeah, gotta do it again. Yep, just like that. So there you go. That's one hit. The only difference is obviously we have to deal with, we have to be on these platforms, of course. Because you guys remember we didn't we didn't have to be on platforms like these. We were like on the um, I guess like on some type of volcano. In um, when we first faced them, so we didn't really have to, you know, because you have to keep moving. You can't just stand there, which sucks. All right, here we go. It's not too bad though, but still, it's, it's still a kind of a struggle a little bit. But here we go. And bow. There we go. Easy. Still very easy. But look, look, look what happens now. After, after we get, after we defeat him and everything. Now, ap apparently, these platforms don't sink anymore, which is kind of weird because they were literally, they were literally doing what they were supposed to do when we were fighting King Caliente. But now they just, they just, ig they just um ignored the laws of physics now, which is cuckoo. I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of weird just to, just to notice that. So there we go. Now we got ourselves the last, well, not quite the last Grand Star, but um, it's pretty much we have like all six, six um, Grand Stars now. We just need, I think we need the bigger Grand Star or something. Because I think, I think, I think we have. There's a bigger Grand Star that we have to get after we defeat the final boss, I believe. So, and yep, there we go. So now the beacon is lightish blue now. Yep, just like that. So it's pretty much mostly complete, which now unlocks the sixth dome. 
But first, this this yeah, it's gonna go over, it's gonna go over there, which we're gonna be going in there first before we go inside the garden. You'll see you'll see why. And that's E2 stars. Wow. All right, so now that the engine room is completed for now, we discovered um, new galaxies. Which, as you guys can see, it's four new galaxies, because um. Yeah, the reason is because there's there's no boss at the garden. The garden, so basically the garden is kind of like an extra, it's an extra dome if you want to if you want to do it, because pretty much you know the engine room we already we already have access to the engine room. Like we yeah we already gained access to the engine room anyway, and we already got we're already available to access the final boss. So pretty much the garden, I guess it's kind I guess you could say it is kind of an optional dome but mostly if you want 100 percent this game like like what i'm doing I'll, obviously um obviously that's what we, that we have to take care of that so okay and you guys you guys see this red luma right here so i've got a secret but i'm not telling so pretty much what he's we'll, we'll, we'll deal with him later though but i just wanted to, i just wanted to speak to him just just so you guys get the idea of what's going to be happening next i'm not going to give you i'm not going to spoil it for you guys just yet unless you guys already know then don't don't really spoil it for the other viewers if they haven't seen. Well, unless you guys seen the My Mario Galaxy playthrough as well, but but anyways, let's just go up here, which now um we can gain access up here now. So yep, here we go. Yep, right over there. Like look at that. So we're, we have to we're gonna go back in here. This is the gate. Yep, the gate. So the so the gate is pretty much the the um it's pretty much the first area we started at when we started this game. So, the, the, this looks familiar to you guys. So remember we started this game, we started this playthrough while while we um were here. Yeah, you know we had to chase uh, three star bunnies and whatnot. So just like yeah, just like in the first episode, obviously. So. But, um, what we have to do is we we're, we have to go back up here and talk to Rosalina again, like we did, um, before in the first, in the, at the beginning. Even though, even though she's, she's literally at the, she was literally at the Comet Observatory. And, of course, these star bits keep falling, falling from the sky. And, and, and it just makes me, it just makes me tempted to get the, um, star bits. But I'm not trying to do that right now. So, I gotta go and speak to Rosalina here now. So, she's at the gate all of a sudden, so. All right, sorry. I'm trying to save my voice because I talk too much already. This planet is very dear to me. I looked forward to visiting this planet with the Lumas every 100 years. The Luma that had, that's been traveling with you may also grow up to become a star someday. Some Lumas become planets, some become comets, and a few become power stars. I'm traveling with them while they look for a place to, to be reborn. But I never thought all this would happen. And now we have this red luma. So you guys, obviously, we just talked to him. Like I got a secret, but I'm not telling. This is why. Wow, Mama must must really trust you. Well, how about this? Look at that. You, if if you grab all 100 purple coins here, then you'll earn my trust too. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be spoiling a lot of things for you guys. Well, well except here. This is this is what I've been waiting to I've been waiting to show you guys this all playthrough. So this is the red star. It holds the power of the red lumas. But the really amazing part of it is, part about it is, it allows you to fly after you spin in midair. Yes, fly! While pressing A, you can pick the direction you want to fly with the control stick. If you could collect 100 purple coins, I'll let you use my power somewhere else. Yep, so, here it is. Here is Flying Luigi. Oh, he does that, yeah, he has green shoes as well. Yeah, he looks really cool. So you transform into Flying Luigi, spin while when jumping to fly. Because you guys remember when we were Mario, uh, Mario was wearing all red like this, but now Luigi's wearing green, pretty much. So we have, yep, yep, just like this. It's really cool though. But um, okay, I thought the music sounded different for a second. I don't know, it just sounded different. Um, a little bit. But you can still see there's red, there's red coming from Luigi's arms, like like it was before with Mario. So, but pretty much, um, this is what we're gonna be doing. So you guys remember the extra, the reason why we're, um, yeah, the reason why we we're not we're not um, we're done with um, the main galaxies for now is because each gal each main galaxy in the game 
contains these purple coins. That's right. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be collecting purple coins in the main galaxies. I, I decided that was a good time to to um, reveal it now, actually, because I've been waiting to I've been waiting to, to tell you guys this now. So that's something I really wanted to um tell you guys. But yeah, we have to collect 100, 100 um, purple coins. And that's pretty much what we gotta do um, in every galaxy too. Yeah, and what suck what kinda sucks is that um we um we have to be we have to have the red star in order to um because you guys saw when we were spinning like this, we we were able to get the um yeah, see we were able to get the purple coins like um like like their magnets. But unfortunately, unfortunately, when you're regular Luigi, you can't really do that. It doesn't really work like that. So you have to actually grab them like this, you know. Or at least here, you can just, you know, they're, they're, just do that. It's pretty much like um, I forget what it was. So we 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 were doing that before. I forget what we were collecting though. I think it was just regular coins or something. I don't remember. This this usually does take a while for the most part, but um, it doesn't it doesn't seem too bad right now. With this I see I, I I'm pretty I'm doing pretty well with this though. So we just need like 19 more now. This will take a little while. So whenever I'm doing this in other galaxies, if if it takes too long, I'm I'll have to pause it and, and all that just so you guys um just to save some time though. But then again, I, we'll see. Yeah, and then obviously you get a time limit for how long you get to have the um. You know the the red star. Well, of course, because of of, co of course they have to have um. They don't they don't give you all that time anyway with um when you're in, when you're a uh, fire Luigi anyway, which kind of sucks. All right, let's get those and now. We, all we need now is pretty much eight more. We no set. Wait, that's it. No, it's not. We need three more. Hmm, where is the last three at? Wait, okay, there's there's two more here. All right, now we need one more. And, um, this will kind of be surprising to you guys once we get this last one. Yep, look at this. It's a red star instead of, um, just a regular power star. It's a red power star. It's surprising, right? So. Even though we already had to collect, like, we had to collect green power stars. Three green power stars. And we've been collecting regular and grand stars. Now we got a red star. But this is only the only, this is the only red star we're getting this, um, this game. Only in this mission you get the red star, but that's pretty much it. Not, nothing really else. Not, no more. There's that's pretty much the only red star in the game, obviously. So that's pretty much all. There's no. There's not gonna be any other other colored power star. Then I have to say. All right. So now that we got that taken care of, so now we're pretty much done with the gate. And guess what? There's a hungry Luma already, but it's he's not at at the um garden. It's actually at the gate, which is kind of weird. So. Cause you guys, you guys would expect the hungry luma, the next hungry luma, to be at the um, excuse me, um, at the at the garden, but actually it's actually, oh my god, hiccup burps and all that crap. Come on, like I'm trying to talk right now. But yeah, he's actually at the oh crap, or right, chill. He's actually all at the um at the garden instead. So, yep. Oh, I, you, we didn't even see the hungry luma until we got over here. Cause you guys saw he just it's like he disappeared there so you know let's just go and take care of this hungry luma now and we're at 23 minutes so we're not gonna have enough time to um start the garden this episode yeah it's gonna be our fourth star we're gonna get so we're not really like come on but look at that 1200 1200 star star bits though like wow so once again transform like wow we're, we're literally doing two hungry luma missions in one episode well, yeah, I guess I guess it makes sense since this hungry luma just appeared here. After yeah, literally once we did that um the red star mission. But yeah, that's like literally my favorite power up in the entire game. Just just to let you guys know, I love I just love that power up so much. The red star. I'm really trying to I'm really looking forward to seeing it in future Mario games too. So all right, racing the spooky speedster. But yeah, Boo's Boneyard Galaxy. This, so so here, pretty much, what we have to do is we have to go and um. Yep, yeah. See, we have to go and race him again. You guys remember we had to race him in the um, Ghostly Galaxy. So now I gotta race him again. Yeah. All right, so let's do this. Yeah. 
He seems kind of easier though in this in this galaxy than he was in um, Ghostly Galaxy. Surprisingly, you'll you'll see why. Look at this. Yep, that's right. We gotta go and use Boo Luigi, and we're pretty much we pretty much gotta race race him with Boo Luigi in 2D instead of in 3D. You guys can see we're we're in a 2D we're in a two dimensional um area here. So oh I didn't I didn't even read the um the dialogue. Oh well, I think it was I think it was saying like ee hee. So you're up for you're you're up for a race, huh, or something like that. So ee hee, here we go. Yeah, sorry I accidentally skipped the dialogue, but oh well. All right, so here we go. Yeah, what's with this quality? This quality kind of looks low. I don't know. It just looks it looks weird a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if you guys could tell. It's probably not. It's probably hard to tell a little bit. But the quality just looks a little a little different now. When you're when, when in this race for some reason. But all right, we're in the lead. Good. And I don't. And these these things, I think they just they just bounce you back when you bump into them. And then once you, you know, get those question blocks, those question coins, the, um, these fans turn on so you can be able to move faster, obviously. So it's perfect. Alright, we gotta keep, keep it moving, keep it moving. Hurry, hurry, boo, Luigi. Yeah, just like that. Oh, and you guys saw, like, we had, there was, like, this wavy effect as well when, when we were trying to, um, yeah, just like that. Right, let's get all these, get them all. Oh, God, he's coming, he's coming now. Oh wow! I almost lost to um, lost to, the, to that boo. I was too busy trying to um, trying to get all the star bits. But um, hee hee hee! Fifty nine seconds and thirty eight milliseconds. Well, a promise is a promise. So take this power star. And I look at all those bones right there. Like, it's like it's like apparently so many people died here. It's just, it's just really cute, cute a little bit. Like, I guess I guess everybody fell and broke all their bones, and then they they just let their bones rot rot until they were skeleton. Uh, Boo, Boo Luigi looks tired a little bit. Right, yeah, take it already. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to take it. So there we go. See, we beat him on our, on our first try because you guys remember. I think we, I think I failed like a few times trying to beat him. All right, are we at, we're at 27. We got time. We got time for one more galaxy. You know, yeah. Let's. All right, it's time to start the um garden then. We're gonna start the garden here. So yeah, just like that. Yep, that'll do it. And now we're gonna do um, yeah, one more galaxy, and that'll be it for this episode. So we're gonna obviously go up here again. Or how about this? Hold on. Actually, I want to show you guys where the um, since um that red luma mentioned that we can use we can use the red star elsewhere. Here it is. So yep, we can actually use this at the comet observatory. I forgot to mention that. And that's why I love this. I love this um. This uh, item so much, this power up, because you get to now use it at the Comet Observatory, and it, it it just feels like I have more access to it, and it's just it's it's usually my go-to item whenever I whenever whenever I'm here, because I could just fly straight up to the garden like this. This this is what I would usually use whenever I would fly up to the garden or the engine room sometimes, but we're just gonna go up here, or actually no, I'm, I just want to just go to the to the gate just to show you guys, just for the heck of it, just to show you guys um. You know what? How 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 it looks when you're when you're going on this to the garden. So yep, here we are. Here's the garden. So um, and now we got access to this here as well, which pretty much sends us. Look at that! It sends us all the way down there. Look at that. Like geez. So now we have access to that part. And look, there's. Wait, look at this. We got we got um red star. We got red flying Luigi and um regular Luigi. That's that's cool a little bit. Wow. Never thought we'd see that. But look at that. Now let's go all the way back up here. You can even fly all the way to the top of the Comet Observatory too, but I'm not trying to do that right now. We're trying to get this done, so. But look at this. Look at the garden here. It's like an, it's it's kind of like an illusion a little bit, because look at this. It, it's like we're surrounded by this whole, it's like, it, it's, it looks like we're really outside. It's, it's just, it's just surprising, because we're, 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 we're only inside the garden dome, but somehow it looks, it looks like we're just out, out here outside or something. And you hear that? There's no music. So, um, pre pretty much, pretty much just like my favorite dome because of the, um, because of this. Well, 
I mean, I mean, when it comes to galaxies, it's not my favorite dome, but it's just my favorite dome when you're like when you're exploring the whole HUD area like that. But let's go and just do this minor galaxy for now, and then we'll go and take on. Yeah, because I usually do the minor galaxies first, pretty much. So let's go and do matter splatter galaxy, and then we'll and then we'll pretty much take on the um those the three um main galaxies, and then you'll see what's gonna happen after we do all that. So, but pretty much the the mission's called Watch Your Step. Yeah, watch your step is right. You'll see why, guys. Look at this. This is kind of like drip. Wait, no, not drip drop galaxy. I forget what it was called. <clears throat> oh wait, no, it was it was from the um, it was from the secret star at um ghostly galaxy, which we had we had this same kind of scenario, but instead it's like we have these these things dripping, and obviously if you if you you fall whenever um you're not on these, so you gotta keep on um, moving like this. It's really cool though, like look at this. You guys see all those blue lines that were like going like doo doo? Yeah, you guys see that? It's really cool. Alright, we gotta wait. Because we have to wall jump like this. Or else we fall and die, so can't have that happening. This is this is the easy part though. You'll see you'll see when this gets really annoying and really difficult. And hopefully we could get done quick enough a little bit. But not, I mean, we're, we have, we have all, we have plenty of time anyway, but like, I just wanted to just, yeah. Really gonna get five stars in one episode again. I'm, all, I'm, I'm always killing it every episode. I'm always doing like so many missions in one episode now. Probably why I'm doing this so quickly. Alright, get out of here with that. Let's go in here now. Just like that. And now, this is where things get real, look at this. Yep, we have to deal with the spring spring power up again, and we gotta be spring Luigi. And check this out. Yep, we have to climb up without falling as spring Luigi. This is a huge punishment. I hate. I I pretty much hate. I really hate this game because of it. Well, I mean, I don't, no, I don't, I don't hate this game, but like, I just I just hate this galaxy for the most part because of this part. Well, matter splattered galaxies, right? Because we, you get you get mad from, from uh, yeah, mad M matter. You, you get matter and matter. Get it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I this is it's just really cute, kid. Oh, oh god! All right, I'm dead. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yes, all right, good. I was I was going I was so tempted to get that one up, but you know what? Let's just go and just chill here. Hopefully, there's a there's another way to get up there without having that. Um, yeah, there you go. Good. Well, I almost screwed myself up there. I think I, I think I did screw myself up like like that in my Mario Galaxy playthrough though. All right, so there we go. Now let's go and get ourselves this, which I think this just gives us yeah star bits. Yeah, that's all it pretty much does. All right, here we go. This does take me a lot of focus too. It took me it took me a few tries in my Mario Galaxy playthrough to actually pull this off. If I do this on my first try, I'm gonna crap my pants. And I do! Oh my god! First try? That's surprising. I didn't even expect to do this on my first try. Especially of how, how difficult um, using the spring Luigi was, but somehow I'm actually able to pull it off now. There's a one-up up there, but I'm not really... You know what, screw it. I'm, I'm gonna get it. There's one up there and one... Dang, like, how, how do you even get that? It looks like you need spring Luigi for that, but I don't think you do, dude. How the heck do you even get that? We'll try. No, that's impossible. I don't think. No, there's there's no way you could get that. Yeah, screw that. I ain't doing it. Let's get all these star bits though. At least we have a good view of this. Um, we had a good view to get all those star bits. Yep, yeah, just like that. Man, I'm real. I'm really collecting star bits though. Every galaxy I'd be collecting over like a hundred star bits. It's really cool. But this right here, you have to like, you have to know where you're going. I mean, well, not, I mean, it's not that bad, though, but it's, like, it's kind of like a little maze type of thing. You just have to know where, where you're supposed to go. But even if you do kind of mess up, like, if you're, in, if you're taking one path and, and it just seems like a dead end, you all, you're, you're always able to just, just switch, switch on paths anyway. So it's not too bad. I think it took me, I think, I, I think I did this part of my first try in my Mario Galaxy playthrough as well. So... It's not bad all over, overall, though. Alright. Oh, guy. Guess I'll go over here like that. 
All right, good. Oh wow, I almost failed. Pretty much the only part of the game that I was that was really struggling on was the um, and I'm dead. Wow, of course. As soon as they say, oh, I might beat this on my first try, but no, but no, of, of course not. All right, well, take two. Let's do. Let's try again. I I really messed up there, so my apologies for that. I'll, I'll keep it going. I'm, I'm not gonna pause. I'm, I'll keep it going unless I die again. Then I'll then I'll pause it. I don't even know what I was saying. Now. You guys already know what's happening. All right, guys. I, I kept going while while the video was paused, and I didn't real I for, I forgot to unpause the video for a second. So we're we're already at the star now, though. But this is where we are now. So I I don't think I really I don't really skip that much. So, but there we go. We got ourselves the star, though. All right. Well, I I, I was just I was just so focused and like you know kind of like spacing out for a second that I forgot to unpause the video when I got I guess kind of far, but at the same time I don't know. But you know what, you guys get the idea of how that galaxy was and whatnot, so. Yeah, I forgot what I was talking about before I, you know, died when I was, when I got so far, but. Oh, I think it was when I was failing non-stop at the, um, sand spiral galaxy, I, I don't know. I don't know, but either way, um, that's pretty much it for this episode for you guys, so, um, yeah, so like, thank you all for watching, be sure to check my other videos, and in the next episode, we're gonna go in pretty much, um, Get started with the first main galaxy of the of the um, garden, since we already took care of the minor galaxy. We did we did pretty much a lot, even though we didn't really start. We didn't we we just started the dome, but like we were do, we were taking care of the garden pretty much. I guess that was kind of a dome, but it's not really a dome, you, you know. So pretty much what we did, we pretty much you know we did the um you know we took care of the, uh, the two hungry luma missions. We did the hungry luma mission of the engine room. Which obviously you guys already know, Sand Spiral Galaxy, that was pretty annoying. Took care of um, King Caliente for the second time as we finished off the engine room and got ourselves all, you guys see, all, um, yeah, all the Grand Stars. And um, we even got to uh, get ourselves the new item, the Red Star over here. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just um, use it, I'm just, I'm gonna just um, use it right now, just, just, just for the heck of it, why not? So yeah, yeah, you know, we got this item here, which we we collect 100 purple coins. Which you guys, I pretty much told you guys that we're gonna be do. That's pretty much what we're gonna be doing. Um, in the in the main galaxies, once we once we get every mission done, in the main galaxies, we'll we'll, we'll pretty much be doing the purple coin missions. That's why I want to take care of all of this first, and then we're going to take care of the pur purple coin missions for each of the galaxies. But that's the first time you guys got to see that in this playthrough, so. And we got ourselves a red star, surprisingly. So, and then after that, we did um, Boo. Uh, was it Boo's Boneyard Galaxy? I think it was, where we had to race that Boo again, like we did in Ghostly Galaxy. But um, we had to race him in 2D and all that. So, you know, we did all that, and then we did Matter Splatter Galaxy, which um, you guys saw how that was. It was pretty, pretty good though overall. I, somehow, I was mostly struggling on the last part though, but I managed to get, I managed to get past that one part with the um. You know when you're spring Luigi, that part I thought I thought I was gonna die constant constantly, but surprisingly I did that on my first try. I almost failed though at one part, but I managed to actually do it on my first try. You guys got to see that, so that was actually kind of surprising. All right, well either way I'm gonna, I'm done here, so I'm gonna end off this episode here for you guys, so I can have this upload because I know this is another very late upload, but I'm I'm pretty much got back from my dorm for the weeks for the weekend, so obviously. But, um, there will be a video this weekend, maybe two videos, you guys will see. Yeah, there's gonna be, I'm gonna be announcing something this weekend, but, um, we'll see how everything goes, goes down, and, um, this weekend, and you guys will see what videos I'll be doing. But other than that, though, um, I'll, I'll see y'all next time, guys. Be sure, be sure to subscribe, like my videos, and if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button, and I will see y'all next time, guys. Thanks for watching.